This is a very impactful initiative that we organized during the Africa Science Week. We call this the Science and Open Day, or Science and Technology Open Day. This event aims to empower people uh, from rural communities. So last year, we took science to over three, uh, around three attendees of kids living in rural communities because if we want to better our life conditions in Africa especially where, where most of the people live in rural communities we have to inspire them and we have to teach them science and innovation how they can use whether every what they have in their communities to improve their lives conditions science is the best way or the best tool they can use to improve their communities so we invited uh, 18 startups and companies to expose technology because it is important not just to speak but to take science for these kids to interact and know because there they will feel how it is to produce science. There are a lot more opportunities available to us. There are agricultural drones, there are promises of genome editing which can provide faster and more innovative solutions in terms of food security, increased production, and, and, and rural economic development. And we need to be prepared to take the opportunities and take advantage of the technologies that are available to us uh, in order to move forward and make sure that, it, that we can feel it on the ground. This year alone we were in Limpopo and we reached out to more than 4,500 learners where we exposed them to various fields of science. Me, uh, in particular, my main uh, topics in the, during the Rural Education Festival, I was talking about smart agriculture as well as coding and coding for agriculture. So that's the first thing that we are doing. Uh, Rural Education Festival is still very new. We are still at our very early stages. We have been mostly in Limpopo, but then this year we got calls to expand to other provinces. Of course, you know, South Africa is, is huge, and then we, we have managed to secure funding only to, for next year to go into Limpopo. And then we are looking for more funding to go into more provinces. So it's still a, a, a new project, and we have the rural communities and young people in, in townships at our heart. We are facing challenges, but then they, it's not like we cannot overcome them. But in the next five years, we plan to be in the whole, to have reached out to rural areas in all provinces. The world has developed in all kinds of ways. We put cameras into space. These cameras are 700 kilometers. We don't see them. You can look up in the sky and see these cameras. But they are there, orbiting, they are going around the, the Earth every day. And one of the recent, recent cameras we have from the, Euro, from the Europeans is taking an image of every spot on the Earth's surface every five days. Which means every five days you have a picture of your farm. And from those pictures we can see virtually everything that you are doing in your farm. This is the truth. Don't hide something in your backyard. Don't grow uh, marijuana or something in your backyard and think that we can, we, it's not being seen. Now, everything can be observed. The question is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Okay? For everything, we know there are good sides and there are some negative sides. But let us look at the positive sides of this kind of information. Massive amount of information. So for all of South Africa, in, two, in 10 days, we can have images of every farm in South Africa. So every five days, we'll have images. Every five days, we'll have images of your farm. We can see how your maize is doing. We can see how your cabbage is growing. We can tell you, your farm is not doing as good as uh, Ramiolo's farm on the other side. The question is, what are you going to do with this information?